Day 19. In the south, the Russian army seems to be preparing for a serious attack. The Russians are trying to extend the front line in the Kravyarik region, and the last city under the control of the Ukrainians inside this whole eastern Mykolaiv region controlled by the Russians was attacked. The city was mainly attacked from the air, so now the Ukrainian army anticipates the Russian infantry to enter the city. There was also a fight near the city of Mykolaiv. Because of the surrounding geography, the area to the east of the city is easy to control from the city, and given that all the bridges there were destroyed, it is very hard for the Russians to get hold of this region. In order to do it, they would need to conduct a major attack and gain a lot of ground at once. They cannot do it gradually like it is working for them in other directions. The Ukrainian army is also anticipating an airborne assault force in the Odessa region. However, given the state of matters in the Mykolaiv region, it is highly unlikely that they will conduct this operation until there is more stability in the south. In the second southern direction, the Russian artillery was also attacking the Zaporizhia region. As we know, the artillery and aviation is always used before the main forces attack, so it is possible that there will be some changes in that part of the region in the near future. Also, the city Hulaipole is still under the Ukrainian control, despite the continuous attempts to take it. In the Donetsk region, after the Russians surrounded the city of Ugledar and attacked it from the northeast, a party of forces continued to move northeast. As you remember, there are not many defense lines in that region, because it would be very difficult to make them strong. Therefore, the Russians will probably make a big jump and reach the city Kurakhova very soon. It is imperative for the Ukrainian forces to hold this city, because otherwise the control over the whole eastern Ukraine can be lost very quickly. In the east, the fights in the cities Severodonetsk and Rubizhna continued. The Russians entered the suburbs of Severodonetsk, so the fighting is already happening inside the city. The Russians managed to destroy the Ukrainian artillery, therefore it will be much harder for the Ukrainians to maintain control over the area around the city. In the northern parts of the region, the residents of city Slavyansk reported that they heard the artillery. Given that the artillery can be heard from around 15 kilometers away, it means that the Russians are getting even closer to Kramatorsk, the main center of the Ukrainian army in the east right now. In the Kharkiv region, the Russians attacked the area in between Kharkiv and Chuguiv. Their objective here is to cut Chuguiv off the mainland and take it in circle. In the north, the Russians attacked the capital from the east. There was a fight for the important roads in the region that could enable Russians to move their forces around the capital more quickly, and unfortunately, the Russians managed to get control over them. According to the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, by the end of the 19th day of war, the Russians had lost 77 airplanes, 90 helicopters, 389 tanks, 1249 armored fighting vehicles, and 12,000 soldiers. I will continue to make daily updates on the situation, so stay tuned.